Hey folks, and welcome to this video about this uh, Speak and Maths game from Texas Instruments from 1984, I believe it is. So, uh, this is a follow-on from the very popular Speak and Spell game, and I'm just going to zoom in a bit on the uh, screen to show you how it works. So that's what's happening when you turn it on. So the uh, the main thing about this, which was revolutionary at the time, was that it, uh, it had this speaking chip in it, and uh, it sets you maths problems by telling you them. And there's about five different games that it does all around maths. So I'll show you quickly how they work. So this is the default mode is solve it, and uh, if I press go, it's on level one. Five plus six is what? So five plus six is eleven. So you type in eleven and you hit enter. That's right. Try two plus two is what? So it's told me I'm correct. Two plus two is four. That's correct. Now try six. Pretty plus easy. Two is what? Well, let's say we get that one wrong, and we say it's seven. Wrong. Try again. Six plus two is what? Oh, it's actually eight, isn't it? So it gives you a chance That's to try right. again. Next try. Three plus one is what? And let's try and get this answer wrong twice. So we say five, which knows wrong. Wrong. Try again. Three plus one is what? Try six. That's incorrect. The correct answer is four. So it tells you the right answer. Um, and let's go on to the next one. Six plus six is what? Twelve. That's that right. right. Your score is four. Right. One. Wrong. So it asks five questions at a time and... Uh, if you get one wrong uh, but get it right the second time, it counts that as a correct answer. And if you get it wrong to, twice, it counts as an incorrect answer. Obviously, those are quite easy, um, but uh, there are three difficulty levels. Uh, and for the solve it, if I just go press solve it, you'll see up here you've got this uh, plus sign. So you can actually choose to play solve it for different operators. So you can do divided by multiplication, one. subtraction, Level and addition, one. or you can actually mix it and Level one. do a mixture of uh, of operations. And then you can change the, the level as well, so you can say level, level two. 2, and there's a level 3 as well. So let's just try it with uh, level 2. 78 minus 36 is what? That's 42. That's right, try. 43 times 3 is what? And it's doing a, a multiplication one there again. So I won't go through them all for five questions for each because we'll be here all night. So I just you have to wait for it to stop talking before you can turn it off, which is slightly annoying. So let's just turn it off and back on again. Solve it. Level one. And let's look at the word problems game. Word problems. Level one. Uh, and let's just tell it to go. What is seven hundreds plus four tens? So it's saying, what's seven hundreds plus four tens? I think that's 740. But it's not showing you the sum on the screen. It's just saying them. So there's a bit of comprehension to be done there in understanding the question. That's right. Try what is seven hundreds plus four tens? So it's quite good at repeating the same questions. I notice it does not do that quite often. Um, but, uh, but never mind a limitation of the technology of the time. So that's pretty much kind of simple questions, but you don't see the notation on the screen. Uh, you have to come up with the answer just from the words. So let's turn it off again. On again. Solve it. Level one. Let's go for the greater and less than. Level one. So let's just go for level two level again. Two. And say go. Nine times nine is greater than or less than one hundred. So it kind of does these two-part questions, so you've got to work out one part of it and then further on work out whether it's greater than or less than the other number. So 9 times 9 is 89, and that is less than 100, so you press this little less than button there and the less than appears there and you press enter. That's right, try. 9 times 5 is greater than or less than 50. Well, we know that's 45, so that's less than 50. That's correct. Now try 6. Times 8 is greater than or less than 50. Let's just stop it there and say we've got all night. So off and on again. Solve it. Level 1. So the next game is write it. Write it. Level 1. 
And what it does here is um, it read it says a number and you've got to uh, then type that number in and it is quite difficult especially on level three because it mixes the uh, the num the units up I'll show you show you what I mean so you can get it to repeat the question let's just see what it was it was one million was it one 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 million one hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and eleven and one tenth, I think it said. That's right, try two tenths. Two tenths, that's point two. That's correct. Now try twenty seven and twenty seven hundredths. So twenty seven plus twenty seven hundredths uh, is twenty seven point two seven, I think. That's right. Next try, 58 ten thousandths. So 58 ten thousandths, that's a bit trickier. So if it was 58 hundredths, it would be 0. 0.58. So I think it's, is that five, is that it? Wrong. Try again, 58 ten thousandths. That's correct. Yes. Two tenths. So, yeah, I'll turn it off there and <laughs> back on again. Do the final mate, final game. Solve it. Level one. Which is number stumper. Level one. Number stumper. It's, it's the only video I've made where the, uh, the object of the video talks over the narrator. So apologies for that. Um, so this one, you've got to try and guess a number. And depending on the difficulty level, if we're on level one because it's want to try and save some time and you've got to guess what the number is it's two digit number for level one and you just guess a number so i'm going to say 46 number right zero number in wrong place zero you're saying i've got none of the numbers right and they're all because of that they're none, none of them are in the right place so let's try um 79 see if we've got anything from the top row number right zero number in wrong place zero Nothing from the top line. Let's try the bottom line. Number right. One. Number in wrong place. Zero. So one of those two numbers is correct, but we don't know which one it is. So let's just try, or if it's in the right place. 23. You've got my number. Your score is Ooh. four. That was very lucky indeed. So the number was... But basically, yeah, it will... Um, if, if I'd said 12 instead of 13, it would have still said you've got one number right and in the right place and one number wrong. But I've managed to guess it there. Um, and it tells you how many uh, goes you took to take it. And when there's three or four numbers in the higher difficulty levels, obviously that gets a bit more tricky. So um, that's that's it for the gameplay. Um, it's uh, I've been I bought it for my daughter who's five years old. It's, it's aimed at six to twelve year olds. Uh, I have struggled with some of the harder level three questions. I must admit, um, but my daughter, who's as I say is five, is can absolutely smash it on level one so but then that is through a bit of playing so it's a it's a very useful educational age aid even uh, in this day and she's taken it into a school for show and tell and her teacher was uh, who's a bit too young to remember these things when they were originally out there was very impressed indeed anyway thank you very much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this see you soon cheerio